In today's video, we go through the calculation of how to determine target spend in your Amazon business, right? Sales are great. Everyone loves, likes to talk about sales and revenue, but those are an output of our Amazon business. We don't have a control over them. The input in our Amazon business is the buy cost, is our, is our spend on quality inventory, right? So if I want to make $10,000 in my Amazon business each and every month, how much do I have to spend on certain inventory in order to get there, right? So we derive that sort of calculation and figure that for your businesses. If we haven't met, my name is Garrett, seven figure Amazon seller, showing you how you can make a living off of Amazon as well. So without further ado, let's hop into my screen and let's get to the video. Cool, so let's get right into it. What we're really trying to accomplish today is given how much money we wanna make from our business, given specific income or profit, you know, either requirements or goals or targets, whatever they may be, whatever the desired outcome of our business is, whatever we're shooting for, what's the input that will lead to that, right? How much do I have to spend on quality inventory that I'm committed to that will yield a specific target outcome or, or income level that we need for our lifestyle or for income replacement, whatever that case may be. And right, and so the conversation starts with how much are we trying to get out of this business? How much do we want to be making from this business, right? Is it 5,000 a month? Is it 10,000 a month? Is it 2,000 a month, right? Whatever that level of income is, that's where this conversation starts, right? Because that's going to drive all the other activity that goes into this business, right? So for this example, let's say our target profit, our target income in this business of what we're trying to do is, is 10,000, right? And so that's where it starts. Now, given that 10,000 that we're trying to make in this business, now what are the boundaries of those products? What sorts of products are we committed to finding? Are we capable of finding day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out to make that profit happen? Well, we, what you'll see we're trying to do is given the profit, we're trying to reverse engineer how much we need to be spending in order to achieve that profit. Right? And you'll see it, it kind of flows through and makes a lot more sense. You'll see it make a lot more sense at the end. Right. And so the quality of our products, right? The quality of the products that we're filling our catalog with is we'll, you know, use margin to um, quantify and qualify those products. And so for this example, let's just start at 10% margin, right? A, a very easy, achievable, moderate, conservative 10% margin. What you what you'll see we can do now is given our specific profit requirement goal at a specific margin, at a specific quality of product, if we just simply divide those two, right, you'll probably see where we're going. Now we have solved for what we need to be selling at a specific margin requirement to yield the profit that we want, right? But in this business, we have income, we have inputs and outputs, right? Outputs are sales, right? As much as we would like to be able to, as much as you know, good products we fill our catalog with, we don't necessarily have a pulse, have an effect on sales, right? Consumers do, but if we put our products in a good enough position, if we if we create our catalog in such a way, we'll put ourselves in enough position, a good enough position to make all this happen, right? But so sales are the output, right? We don't have a say, we don't have a input on, or we don't have an effect on sales. The input, on the other hand, is our driver of this business. Our inputs are how much we're spending, right? Our spending leads to sales, right? We don't have, sales are an independent variable and then ultimately sales lead to the profit, right? So we don't necessarily care about sales. Sales are great to post that post on social media and everyone likes to obsess over the orange bars, but they don't mean anything, right? We need profit. And so we need to keep going with our equation, keep going with our conversation to ultimately solve for what we're after, right? Which is the main driver of this business which is how much we need to be spending on all of these products. And so the kind of the data point, the metric that allows us to get to that spend is what we call a buy cost percentage. And all that is, is a relationship between spending and sales, right? If I spend $10 on products over the long term, my business is telling me those I'll sell products for 20 or 18 or 22, right? If I spend a hundred dollars on products, how much over the long term on average are those products generally selling for, right? And so given our, you know, 10% margin, our buy cost percentage is likely going to be around 60%, right? And that, that is if I buy products for $60 over the course of my business, generally they'll sell for around 100, 
right? All it is is giving a relationship, a correlation between how much I'm spending and how much I'm selling, right? But what that then enables us to do, it enables us to solve for how much we need to be spending, right? We're working backwards in reverse engineering our main goal, our main data point that we need that's going to drive all of our activity in our business. And so now what we can do, right, given our sales target and given our buy cost percentage, which our, which our business has told us, right, it's kind of a qualifier, qualifier of products, right? We just solve for a target spend of 60000 So what this all means is where we started, given our profit, which we already sold, which we already set as, as 10000 at a specific margin, right, we're committing to 10% product, 10% margin products, we then can solve for a sales target, which is 100,000, right? 10,000 divided by 0.1 gives us 10, 100,000. In other words, if we sell 100,000 at a 10% margin, we'll profit 10, right? But again, we need to finish the equation. These two, right, by cost percentage, as well as our margin are really just indicators of the quality of products that we're filling our business to. These will kind of correspondingly go up or down as the quality of the products go up and down. So those are related. And then ultimately what we're really, really, really after is our target spend. And this is going to be a monthly target spend, right? Because everything else is in the scope of monthlies, uh, months, right? But we, we can do a deeper dive, right? If we take that and divide it by four, well, now this is our weekly spend, right? So now we have boundaries for how much we need to be spending per week, right? We can even take it a step further. If we can take our monthly target and divide by, you know, an average of 30 days, and so now we just solve for our daily spend, right? So now it's not necessarily equation, an equation of I need to find X amount of products or I need to find, you know, X leads or whatever. It's about, I need to spend $2,000 every single day over the course of a month. And if I do that over the long term, these numbers will, will happen, right? As long as I commit to the, you know, a 10% qual 10 margin products at scale and I consistently and consistently fill my products or catalog with those products, this will happen. And so this is ultimately what we're after. This is the main goal that will make everything else happen, right? It's how much do I need to be spending each and every day to sell a hundred thousand at a 10% margin to profit your 10,000, right? This is how we game plan in Amazon. We start with a profit, our target profit. How much do we want to earn in our business? Quantify our quality of products, right? Set our standards of what we're committing to use that to solve for ourselves and then ultimately back into our how much we need to be spending but now these all are related right so these all interconnect these kind of interchange right so now if i tell you right we need to be spending sixty thousand a month two thousand a day and you tell me well i don't have i'm not comfortable with spending sixty thousand i only have 30 that i can spend month in month out well then we need to make some adjustments right if you're dead set on your ten thousand profit but you just simply don't have your sixty thousand in spend well, then we have to increase the quality of products, right? Maybe we change this to 20 and this will drop probably about, you know, to 45 or something like that. Right. So now we just simply by just changing the mark, the commitment of products, right? How good and how quality of our products we're finding our target spend over the course of a month got cut right now it's down to 22,000, right? So all these kind of factors play together to really settle on your game plan. Right? Keep in mind how much you're willing to spend, the quality of products that you are capable of finding consistently, and ultimately the profit that you want to earn. Right? But what happens naturally as your business grows, right, the, the margin tends to kind of decrease right? because the theory is there's just more products at the 10% margin than there is 20% margin. There's more products at the 15% margin than 30%. Right. And so as your business grows, you just naturally have more money to spend. And so as you have more, more money to spend, you are capable of saying yes more, ultimately be having to spend more to sell more. But the most important thing, when you do those two things, your bottom line increases. And that's really what we're after is the profit. Right. And so we're back to 10% margin. And so we'll raise this back to 60%. And so you can do this in your business, right? Start with how much you want to be profiting. What qualify, what quality of products are you committed to? What, what are you committed to for your business, the boundaries of your business? And then solve for your sales. Keep in mind what your business is telling you in terms of what the relationship of how much you spend, how much you sell. 
and then settle on your target spend on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis to keep your kind of boundaries, keep driving that activity, right? Because then it's a matter of, I don't need to spend, I don't need to find two products now, I need to spend this amount of money. And when we fill our products with the right, we fill our catalogs with the right sorts of products, this daily spend gets a lot easier, right? When we can restock and replenish products, right? Some days you'll have restocks of, of 5,000 uh, of buy costs, right? And so you don't have to find any new products. It's just simply restocking and replenishing your catalog. And so this is the whole conversation in terms of how we implement a game plan according to specific standards of our products, according to how much we want to be making, and ultimately how much credit and spending power we do have in our business. That's it for today, guys. If you find value in the, co in the content, I, I would appreciate um, a comment below. Give the channel a subscribe. It helps me grow this channel to help more people. And with that being said, we will see you in the next video.